What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Mighty Joe Young. <coughs> Excuse, me. Excuse me. What I meant to say is, here's my review of Disney Plus new movie, The One and Only Ivan. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Disney Plus for granting me the screener to this new film. The one and only Ivan is wonderful. Just wonderful. The kind that makes you feel grateful for having seen it. It's sweet and adventurous and endearing. I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't shed a few tears watching it. And a great voice cast as well. This is a joyous family film that tugs at your heartstrings. Based on Catherine Applegate's book, adapted by Mike White and directed by Thea Sharrock, the one and only Ivan focuses on a 400-pound silverback gorilla who shares a communal habitat in a suburban shopping mall with Stella the elephant, Bob the dog, and various other animals. He has few memories of his childhood in the jungle from which he was captured, but when a baby elephant named Ruby arrives, it touches something deep within Ivan, who then begins to question his life, where he's from, and ultimately, where he wants to be. Voice starring Sam Rockwell as Ivan, Angelina Jolie as Stella, Danny DeVito as Bob, Helen Mirren as Snickers the Poodle, Brooklyn Prince as Ruby, co-starring Ramon Rodriguez, Ariana Greenblatt, and Brian Cranston as the circus attraction owner named Mac. I didn't know about this prior to watching this movie, but apparently there's an actual gorilla named Ivan who went through similar ordeal. Well, the book by Catherine Applegate kinda took creative liberty, but it does add to that heartfelt layer knowing that it's loosely inspired by real-life events. The mix of live action and CG in this movie is quite impressive. My god, the technology keeps getting better and better. I can't tell where one ends and the other begins. The emotional reactions on these animals' faces look so authentic, and screenwriter Mike White focuses on all the parts that matter. The parts that move the story forward, and in turn move you, while at the same time doesn't neglect the story's playful, humorous, and awe-inspiring elements. And I kinda like how Brian Cranston's character is not heartless or ruthless, cause it would've been too easy to fall into that stereotypical trap of depicting the owner as the villain. But in this case, there's a sympathetic aspect about him that you can easily wrap your head around. You know my stance when it comes to voice acting. I will always be on the side of true voice actors as opposed to just casting A-listers so you can slap their big names on the movie poster. But there are always exceptions like you cannot separate Tom Hanks from Woody anymore. The same goes, I think, for the animal characters in this movie. Sam Rockwell infuses a gentle, personable soul to Ivan. And there's wisdom of the ages in the way Angelina Jolie voices Stella. Obviously, a complete departure from how Angelina voices Tigress in those Kung Fu Panda movies. And Danny DeVito has done so many voice work over the years that even though you can tell that it's him, he voices this best friend comic relief Bob like second nature. Is the one and only Ivan an agenda movie? Yes. Yes it is. Folks from PETA organization or other animal rights groups would adore the themes and the outcome of the story in this film. And it's totally understandable. But I think mentorship and solidarity and longing for freedom 
are the things that can resonate with audiences of all ages. And that is where the one and only Ivan truly shines.